Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today we are doing a New York Giants mock draft, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. I'm closing in on my goal of 900 subscribers, so it costs you absolutely nothing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Like this video down below if you enjoy it, or dislike it if you don't like it, but make sure that you comment your thoughts and opinions down below as I respond to every single comment. Once again, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Only about 10% of you guys are subscribed, so it'd be a big help if you hit that subscribe button down below. So let's get started with today's video. So the New York Giants have the number 25 overall pick. And I have them selecting Osiris Torrance, the guard out of Florida. Really, with this pick, I think that it really comes down to this. You need help on that offensive line still. And Osiris Torrance is one of the best run blockers in the league. Or not in the league, I'm sorry. In the draft class. In the draft class, Osiris Torres is the best you get. Tackle, guard, center, whatever it is, he is the best at it. So I think that he is a steal at number 25 because personally, I think he'll go more in the teens particularly, maybe in the early 20s. Uh, but I think that if you're able to get that and you keep Saquon Barkley, uh, Barkley for free agency and the Bears don't get him, um, I think that that could be a big addition to a Giants team that desperately needs to improve an offensive line that was better, don't get me wrong, than previous years. But outside of Andrew Thomas at left tackle, it's a little shaky. It's a little shaky. So let's get on to the next pick. At pick number 57, I have the New York Giants selecting Emmanuel Forbes, the cornerback out of Mississippi State. So I think that this is a position that the Giants could use a little bit of help on is at cornerback. A big shout out to Julian Love as a Notre Dame fan. Uh, so Giants captain Julian Love doing great either way. Point being, Forbes is, I think, a really high second round pick and really could help out a team that I think definitely could use an upgrade at that position of cornerback. And I think that with the addition of a cornerback like that, I think it could add a lot of value uh, to your team. And I'm going to continue to address that by addressing the next position in safety by drafting Sidney Brown, the safety out of Illinois, at pick number 89. So with this pick, both Forbes and Sidney Brown both address a similar issue of helping out a secondary that outside of Love and a Dorian Jackson, I'm a little bit shaky on. I don't know if how you got a Giants fans feel, but personally, I'm a little bit shaky on the rest of it. Uh, so I think that addressing that, adding another safety uh, to the mix, and I think uh, Sidney Brown, he can play nickel, he can play safety. I think he's very versatile. In that aspect, Emmanuel Forbes, he can sure up that other cornerback position, and I think him being able to help that out. So at pick number 128, as I talked about before, um, I thought it was important to be able to address positions of need, and a position of possible need is running back. So I know that Saquon Barkley, he may be back, he may not. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but here's the problem. Right now, it's before free agency. Saquon has not signed, and we have no idea where he's going to go. So I have to assume that he's not on the team at the current moment. If he's not on the team, I need to be able to draft a running back that's, well, a little bit better than Matt Breida. No offense, Matt Breida. But and if you're watching this, please hit that uh, like button down below. Great to have you with us. But either way, Tajay Spears, the running back out of Tulane, solidified himself personally, I think, as like a running back three, running RB2 in this class. I know that a lot of people are higher on Sean Tucker or higher on... You name the running back, they're higher on him than Tajay Spears. But personally, I think Tajay Spears is one of the best running backs in this draft class. Outside of B. John Robinson, I don't really think that there is an obvious choice for RB2 in this draft class. And personally, I really like Tajay Spears. Um, 
So I decided to pick him at pick number 128 to solidify that. And let's say you have Saquon back. Saquon and Spears, that is a dynamic duo because not only do you want to help Saquon and being able to not be so injured, but I think that also helps there. Now we're going to go ahead and address the wide receiver position because I think that needs a little bit of help uh, there. Michael Wilson, the wide receiver out of Stanford. Um, I think just a big dude that has athleticism. That's, I think, basically all you need in this. A big dude that has athleticism. And I think that's, that's something that is essential in being able to have a good wide receiver group. Obviously, Kenny Galladay did not work out and is, well, still not working out to a degree. Um, and I think that is something that a position that they need to be able to address going into this offseason is wide receiver and what you're going to be able to do with that uh, with guys like Richie James and Darius Slayton and Isaiah Hoggins. Um, you really don't have a solidified bona fide star and I'm not saying Michael Wilson is the answer there. I'm not. But I think that he could be a piece as a wide receiver two or wide receiver three as a developmental piece that I think could really help. So at pick number 209, I have the Cow or not the Cowboys, sorry Giants fans, the Giants continuing to address their offensive line needs by getting uh, Chandler Zavala, the guard out of NC State. So I think that the tackles are the two strongest positions. I completely blanked on Evan Neal. So between Evan Neal and Andrew Thomas, I think you have two decent tackles. The problem is, is the inside. The inside is a little bit weaker with Nick Gates and uh, Mark Glosow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I could not say his last name. Either way, point being. I think Zavala is a good guard with a lot of potential to actually be a starter, even though you're getting him in the sixth round. A potential starter in the sixth round is great value. So I think that that is important to be able to have there. So at pick number 242, I or I'm sorry, 218, I have the Giants selecting Will Mallory, the tight end out of Miami. I don't think it's essential that you dress address tight end. I don't think it is the most important position on the field or something like that. But I do think it's important that you add to a group that is led by Daniel Bellinger, who is he's not bad, he's not terrible, but I think it's a position that it's it's not needed, but it's helpful to have some backup. So with him, I think that he's not a special player. I don't think he does anything wonderful, but I think he's solid. He has a pretty high floor, um, but that also means he kind of has a low ceiling. Uh, there, there's not much room for improvement there, which is fine as a tight end too. I think that's kind of what you're looking for is a guy that can fill in if the starter is out for a couple of weeks, pulls a hammy or it gets injured. I think that that could be a good filler position uh, by drafting Will Mallory. So like I said, at pick 242, I have the Giants selecting Kendra Coburn, the defensive tackle out of Texas. So Coburn is, I think, one of the more underrated prospects in this draft class. And I think that he could fill up great as a backup to Dexter Lawrence. Um, I think that De uh, Kendra Coburn, he is really kind of just a nose tackle, and that's all he's going to be. But the Giants do run a 3-4 base defense, so I think that does help. He's, he's going to play a nose tackle. And really, he's just going to be a big body that takes up space and can fill up two gaps. That is really his big thing is he'll fill up two gaps and I think that that's something that it's not that they're lacking it in the Giants but I think that is something that they can improve on depth wise so at pick number 245 I have the Giants selecting Caleb Murphy the edge rusher out of Ferris State so if you have watched any of my prior videos you know that I'm pretty high on him as a player had a great shrine bowl really showed out uh, and really started to work on some of those offensive tackles at the Shrine Bowl. And even though the Shrine Bowl didn't have as good of tackles as the Senior Bowl did with Do uh, Dawson Jones and all, and so on and so forth, I think that this is a guy that can really play well on the NFL level. And obviously, there's going to be a steep learning curve, and you're going to have to add that into factor. But I think it's going to be okay overall. So... That is going to wrap up today's video. Make sure you hit the two videos down below. Won't be a playlist of all of my videos uh, so far of mock drafts. And hit the subscribe button up here as always. Have a great day. Bye.